now we do have the moon shadows and the four of cups discontent and boredom it might be a fellow water sign we are dealing with can be a pisces and somebody is not paying attention that's a four of cups you know that is a gift all wrapped by the universe and we are not seeing it absolutely the moon and the devil capricorn energy pisces energy but this is about shadows and temptation this might be about fears um codependency might be um forbidden passions forbidden love something in the dark we cannot show to people and we have the lovers gemini energy too. might be a forbidden love a temptation of some sort that we keep it hidden a little bit so let's see what this is all about <clears throat> so bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time and again it's intended for the month of may but it's a bonus so we know energies and we do have five of pentacles nine of cups seven of swords nine of pentacles are you kidding me we leave behind deception we get wish fulfillment and material harvest we also have the three of swords nine of swords if it comes back again we know it's yours but i'm sensing here cancer we are moving away from a deception energy somebody might have rejected us or maybe this is you with the five of pentacles saying you know what no thank you i'll have my own wish fulfillment and my um material harvest i'm better alone independent on my two feet uh, doing whatever I want to do we'll see as this is the overall energy but absolutely we've been um, right struggling lately with some deception lack of communication lack of information maybe a financial um, struggle because we might have separated people might have been this lovers of, lover of yours this soulmate of yours might have been deceptive in regards to money for some of you but let's see what this is all about and where we are heading. So past energy is cancer on your side, on my left side, on your right is the person you are dealing with and neutral energies. Let's have the current situation on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies and let's have the possible outcome. The possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies bottom of the deck new beginnings i am so convinced new beginning is in the ace of cups unfortunately it took a tower moment right in a partnership it took some disruption in order for us to have the uh the full with the ace of pentacles so i'm gonna change a little bit because you you are seeing way too much light here so i'm gonna change just a little bit perfect so now we have it and it's good so cancer past energies baby it was a world of pain and we had to walk away i love this we found the strength right we have the eight of cups emotional withdrawal and we do have com conflict and defeat five of swords might have been a, might have been a hell of a fight and of course we we have the uh the tower as the bottom of the deck here so it has been a hustle and a journey and a disruption and a boom and um and probably this person was uh, quite conflicted either they were so deceiving that at some point you had no choice but to confront them we also had the moon all the way right so we had some fears and at some point we confronted the fears and we addressed an issue that created actually a conflict and eventually defeat and we have you walking away in the past from this energy or at least in need to uh withdraw emotionally and uh, and do something else and uh, have something else right and start this new beginning of yours um now cancer this person of yours was in two minds right that's a mental conflict thinking one and then it's opposite so thinking one thing um, and then it's opposite and probably they had a lot of pride right six of wands is the energy of look at me 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 i'm the warrior i'm the best um you know i always win i always have it my way so a lot of pride a lot of um 
you know, conflicted kind of energies inside of them because that is still the Two of Swords. Two of Swords is thinking because we lack confidence to make a decision, we lack information, we are not sure, we are questioning, and yet it's paired with a Pride card. So, again, this person was in two minds about. Um, and um, Two of Swords is the energy of being blindfolded, so I'm not sure they, right? I'm not sure they really knew something or much of. Of course, Nine of Swords was ours and mutual energies between you and this person, suffering in silence and maybe too proud to share and talk about. We have again this energy of pride. Usually it's victory and success, Six of Wands, but because it's paired with pain cards, um, it speaks of being too prideful to say something. So both of you actually, you suffered in silence and um, probably decided to show a brave face. That's also the Six of Wands, you know, when people are watching, we are at our best and it's, um, you know, we made sure actually we look all right and, um, and we stay above the water so, you know, we can wave at people uh, passing in front of us so that we were, we're safe, we're good, right? We, um, uh, everything is under control, but I feel right under the surface, both of you, you are suffering in silence in an energy of mental conflict and also conflict and defeat. Um, might have been this dynamic, right, between you and this person where we um, kind of, um, we were picking fights and what crossed your mind is maybe they are cheating on me, maybe I'm no longer appealing to them, I'm no longer beautiful, you know, that kind of energy. Because the Seven of Swords can also be a doubt, right? A doubt that somebody actually is moving away from us and all the conflicts that we have is because, you know, they are... Um, disconnecting and walking away oh cancer oh boy oh baby where are we right now six of cups and the five of cups right emotional loss this is my i miss you card and the six of cups is again uh, the energy of soulmates the energy of love memories of love reminiscent about the past missing somebody wanting them back um and um and we are in our fields right now we are in our feelings and wanting this person and going through changes and going five of swords five of cups changes and challenges and with the six of cups is fully blown love and awakened to the bond that we have with this person um you know what cancer they remain hopeful about yourself they do have the chariot right now which is your full energy triumph and we have the star card Aquarius energy and that is hope and that is triumph so they are not really letting go of you just yet um, and this is divine guidance so somebody here is somehow awakening somehow seeing a little bit more aligning themselves maybe they solved their mental conflict that they were going through two of swords is also the energy of making choices and probably they were you know maybe they had options at least two and they were uh, conflicted about who's important and what choice they should um, have, um, you know, and what energy uh, should prevail in some sort. And guess what? Now you sh your energy is all over them, by the way. And I do love the star energy, right? Divine guidance, healing, um, awakenings, ascensions, all that good stuff. So that is hope. They remain hopeful about you. And guess what, baby? New beginnings here. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, still passionate about you, still believe in this connection, has potential for growth, and that's exactly your idea in regards to this person. Ace of Pentacles, we can invest, we can grow, we can um, expand and develop something that is also passionate. So they still have passion for you also. Not only the idea of we can grow old, but but also the the um, idea of passion and and um, sensuality and playfulness and um, all that good stuff. Cancer, moving forward, the energy coming your way, the strength and the eight of pentacles. If you are dealing with a the Leo, they are coming in. Eight of pentacles is positive movement forward. Um, this is the energy of putting the effort of dedication. This is the energy of you are the one teach me how to be strong and how to be yours 
Um, that on their best behavior, that's a strength, right? Um, very much attracted to you, but um, staying strong and, um, and willing to learn, right? And work on it. And guess what? We do have two of cups. Now they are awakening um, cancer and they are fighting for this. We do have the two of cups, spiritual union. This is all about body, mind and soul. And the seven of wands is the energy of standing their ground for this connection and fighting for it. Fighting, you know. And quite passionate, I would say. And it might be a Leo cancer you are dealing with. We do have the strength and we have... Uh, obstacles and challenges right so we are not out of the woods just yet with the five of wands there are still internal struggles should i take them or not but that is a strong energy of attraction we know strength is about lust and um and um instincts right and uh so the first your first instinct is probably to rush to them and uh, the same for them but still there are some um bridges that need to be mended there and prepared right and they are willing to do so they are willing to put the effort and this is also them willing to fight for this and being awakened to the soulmate connection this is beautiful it was it's interesting it's um right we always have to um to have it with the overall energy because that's a purpose that's the most important energy and everything else aligns and we do have Ace of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. So that is a chance of new beginning, of starting new. Clean new slate over here. We do have new beginnings and love begins. So a new leap of faith, but there was deception and rejection. And now we have the Nine of Cups energy with the Nine of Pentacles energy. Having our wish fulfillment, but in the same time, which is this person, because you desire this person and they love you. But with a touch of independence, right? Nine of Pentacles is the energy of independence, the energy, well, I'm going to uh, walk my path while, while I have this bond with you. So I love this. And it was, again, a hell of a journey. There was a disruption there. Somebody was conflicted and too proud, um, you know, to acknowledge something. Now, Cancer, because it, ha is, it has been a hassle, let's see what guidance we receive today. Let's see what we are supposed to do. You do have strong energy of a Leo. Maybe somebody has Leo in their chart. A Cancer like yourself, Aquarius energy. We don't have a lot of zodiac signs, eh? So, let's see what guidance we receive in regards to this person of yours. Oh, we have reconciliation. Someone from the past, and guess what? Bottom of the deck is very soon. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life and very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Uh, let's have some um, guardian angels. Sometimes we receive guidance for work, but we take it as um, stability. We take it as, um, as a bond of some sort. But we always have guardian angels, right? So we do have the Hermit. Uh, this is Virgo energy. Some of you might be dealing with the Virgo. For some of you, this is actually um, guidance for you for now. And it says there are great rewards in spending time alone. Use those moments of solitude to focus on love and ways in which you might give to those around you. Shine your light as an example for others to follow. Seek out a spiritual mentor of your own if your life feels unfulfilled right now. I love this. And the guardian of thought, which is the king of swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy. And it says, you may be called upon to be a spokesperson for a cause close to your heart. Your angels will give you the perfect words and you'll do brilliantly. You may be asked to be a mentor or find one yourself. Maybe in this situation, right, of deception, rejection, financial insecurities, maybe some of you, the message is, how about asking for help, right? This situation involves someone who's professional with a positive attitude and fresh ideas. This person who could be you may be emotionally unavailable. So we have one energy of taking care of yourself and uh, spend time in nature. Uh, take advantage of the silence around you. 
um, to go through um, stuff that you need, kind of need to sort. And um, guardian of thought, king of swords is really the counselor and the mentor uh, we need. So some of you, you are really, um, it's kind of like the universe is pointing you to ask for help, um, Cancer. And we have very soon reconciliation. But let's have the um, energies we need to manifest here. And um, um, what do we need to let go of? Oh, you have the spiritual teacher spending time in nature and now you have surrendered to your, surrender to the beauty of the natural world. You have to get out more, um, Cancer. And it says take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. I can see myself walking bare feet in a, I don't know, in a national park or something. Um, surrender the idea you can fix someone, Cancer, right? Surrender. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must, must be accountable for his or her own healing. We have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. So we need to get the awareness flowing because we might be blocked in some denial of some sort. And forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Cancer. Let's have another one. Surrender to receiving support and love. That's about the counselor. Allow the love and support of others in rather than trying to handle everything yourself. This can take the pressure off and simultaneously nurture you. Somebody, I'm picking up the energy of a cancer who will very soon um, reconcile with their soulmate, but we cannot fix them. We need help actually ourselves and we need to forgive and be aware of what's going on. And we have humility. You have developed the loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same but on different path. So speaking of the pride, the pride show up twice, right? In the past energy. Six of ones on their side, six of ones on both your side. So maybe that is something about pride that needs to be kind of addressed. Um, you know, sit with the feeling a little bit and see what are we supposed to, right? Understand from this. Oh, you get to. Okay. Self-esteem and service. Humility goes with service, right? I feel good when I can help others. So some of you, you are really... While you are in a hermit mode, maybe actually you are guided to be of service to somebody in need. And I also, we have to uh, get back into the flow of the energy of self-esteem. And this is an affirmation for you, right? I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Um, so it's not about money, it's not about material, it's about the gifts of the soul that you are reminded that you have them. So, so you have actually reasons to be, um, to feel confident. Um, hey, Cancer, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. Please stay safe and strong for me. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Let me know what you think and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.